I don't want my Meepo. I want my MPV. Some of you may be asking, WTF is MPV? Well, stick around and I'll tell you. I had been looking for a good replacement to Umplayer. I've been using that for the longest time, and uh, I just wanted a nice, lightweight player. Umplayer didn't look like it was getting any updates to it or anything like that, and everybody knows how lightweight VLC is. Bloat! Yeah, too much. And basically, MPV is a fork of uh, both mPlayer and mPlayer 2. And here is their web page. Uh, let me put on my uh, eyeballs so I can uh, see what I'm doing here. All right, and um, this is uh, mpv.io. And uh, this gives you a screenshot of what it is, and we're also going to see it in action here uh, on my computer screen uh, because uh, I want to show you some really cool things that this does. And I mean, it's it's really just a simple, lightweight media player, and it does a fantastic job of uh, playing video and audio. And uh, I have some goodies to throw at you guys for those of you who really want to try this out. Under the hood, it really doesn't look like a whole lot. But this is quite a comprehensive player in its own right. And uh, they have a page right here where they really go into some serious detail on this, almost in a Greek kind of language that I kind of shudder to read myself. But after digging around online, I came up with a nice little cheat sheet for commands that I would use regularly with this. And, uh, it, you know, and also um, I have a configuration file so that this thing will always open uh, even if it's playing an audio file. This is really cool stuff. Let me show it to you in action here. Let me go ahead and uh, minimize. Uh, before I minimize my browser, I just want to uh, give a, a special uh, shout out to the uh, Arch community. Um, they have some documentation on this as well, and you might want to read it. And just because it's on the Arch Wiki page doesn't mean it's just for Arch users. You know, um, you can't... This Wiki guide is great for just about any Linux that's out there. It tells you about the different front ends that you can get for MPV. Uh, so if you want a fancy shell on this, you can get Baka, Bami, Gnome MPV. You know what? I tried all of these, and I found that I liked MPV just the way it is. I don't need any extra fluff, and I'll show it to you in a minute here. So I just wanted to mention that, and before I minimize my browser, uh, this is uh, my uh, website here at coupleoflinux.com. I'll have a link in the description below where you can get my uh, configuration file for this. Uh, for those of you who want to download it and try it out, play with it. And, of course, uh, you can get my cheat sheet, which has all of the, uh, you know, most of the commands that you're probably going to use all the time with this thing. So, uh, I have them here, and I did that for you guys out of the goodness and kindness of my heart. You have that available to you as an additional resource for uh, using MPV. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and have a look at this thing. And uh, I think you're going to like what this does. And pretty much, uh, this player will pretty much chew up anything that FFmpeg can open up for the most part. At least I believe uh, that's the way it is. And, uh, well, I figured I'd uh, just go ahead and play any old thing. Um... So I kind of grabbed some uh, open source uh, material to uh, work with. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the Big Buck Bunny here. Uh, let me go ahead and mute the speakers so that we don't have any audio coming out. Really don't want that. 
And the way I have this set up, uh, I have it deliberately set up to open up video just like this because, you know, sometimes I might be browsing the web and maybe I want to have a little video playing or a little distraction playing, so uh, I really like uh, having this. And because I have a nice borderless window theme, I like how this looks uh, without any borders. Now, uh, I'm not going to play uh, a WAV file with this, but I will tell you... Uh, that um, if it doesn't have any graphics, it just opens up as a small little black box, the way I have the configuration set. And then when you mouse inside there, you can see that little control box, as you can see right here. Okay, and uh, you know, I can just using some simple uh, keyboard commands, I can stretch the video. I'm not playing it in full screen uh, because uh, my capture device does not like to capture OpenGL in full screen, don't ask me why, but the video quality and playback on this is absolutely astounding. Uh, I made a comparison recently, and uh, one of the dr things that really pushed me into trying this was the fact that I was looking for a good video player which would play the uh, new, uh, the uh, high efficiency video codec or uh, AGVC. It's very popular nowadays. Cadian Live now outputs uh, that high video quality. And I wanted to try and start making good use of it. And the thing is, the VLC player, when compared to this, VLC player tended to play the video back a little bit choppy, especially when it was at 1080p, whereas MPV would just play it on my... You know, and I'm just using a laptop. I mean, my computer isn't a race winner at all. So this is one reason why I decided to opt for this player over VLC or uh, SM player. Just because of how it handles the codecs and everything. Uh, it, when uh, playing an audio file, as indicated, it's a small little box like this. And it's black and it has the controls. Uh, I have it set up that way because... I only need one player to play all of my media, rather than, um, you know, having an audio player and, you know, and a separate video player and all of these playlists and all that. Who needs all that fluff? I just need something simple and lightweight, something that's going to, you know, because odds are I'm only listening to a handful of files. I can select m multiple files, right-click them, and select to open with MPV, and MPV makes its own playlist right there, and it plays everything in the order that you selected them uh, in the directory. So that's cool. It works. It's, it's really nice. It's super lightweight. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, open up uh, my little cheat sheet here so we can uh, have a look at some of the options for this. Uh, because this has some pretty neat little on-screen uh, displays. Let me uh, put my eyeballs on here, and uh, we can see what it'll do. If the video has subtitles, just by pressing J, uh, normally... Oops. Let's uh, put the video in focus here. By pressing J, if it had a subtitle picture, it would let you uh, toggle through the sub-pictures and you could uh, hide the uh, subtitles. You can uh, also uh, toggle the audio stream by pressing shift and three um, and depend, because some video files may have several different audio streams. Uh, so this is a common one uh, that you would use for that. You can also, uh, pre pressing shift and A, you can toggle the aspect ratio of the video, which I think is neat. And then, of course, when you rescale it, it'll honor that aspect ratio without changing the, uh, without changing the video. I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, pressing uh, Control uh, plus plus will enable you to increase and then uh, Control plus the minus key will allow you to decrease the audio delay. So in case you're having problems with lip synchronization in a video, uh, you can easily do that uh, using those commands. Uh, one and two, uh, increase uh, contrast. And look, it's got a beautiful on-screen display for that. 
So, I mean, you can just easily go in there and fix these things. Three and four will increase and uh, decrease brightness. Five and six does your gamma. Seven and eight will do saturation. Okay, and uh, nine and zero will increase uh, the audio volume. And uh, W and E will zoom in and zoom out. So, uh, panning and scanning. Pretty neat indeed. All right, uh, left and right arrow keys will seek ahead. Uh, five seconds up and down seeks a minute. That's kind of cool. So, I mean, this does everything you would come to expect, even from something like VLC. Although, you got to learn the commands, you got to have a little cheat sheet to work with it, and that sort of thing. But, you know, for being super duper minimalistic. You can't go wrong with this thing. And um, it's very easy to get. All right, so you also have some other commands. The P key uh, will pause. Um, you can even use the space bar, and that'll pause the video too. Pause and play. Um, F will toggle full screen, or you can double click the video, and it'll also expand to full screen. And double clicking while in full screen will shrink it back to normal size again. Okay, uh, subtitle visibility pressing the V key. Really, I've never been able to get that one to work. Using the uh, J key uh, seemed to do the trick for me there. Uh, lowercase s takes a screenshot, uppercase s takes a screenshot without subtitles, Q, uh, capital Q for quit. O for show progress. Well, let's see that. Okay, cool. So it gives you a progress uh, there. All right. Uh, capital T will toggle the video window on top. And then um, the R and T move the subtitle pictures up and down. There are plenty more um, commands that you can actually use with this. And uh, just doing a search on Google, you can find page after page after page after page. I just grab the ones that I'm going to use most often. Bar none, my personal favorite uh, video player. Um, so the people that forked uh, M Player 2 and regular M Player, you guys did a fabulous job on this. I'm absolutely loving this. This is my only video and audio player that I have installed on my Manjaro box. Absolutely love it to bits. So I figured I'd uh, take a few minutes of time to tell you guys about it. So uh, hop on over to cupoflinux.com. Get my config files. Instructions are included on where to put those configs. Uh, back up your original config, of course, if you want to, you know, keep the original and that sort of thing. Uh, you know, Try my config out, see if you like it, look at my cheat sheet. Um, if you want to expand on the cheat sheet, you're welcome to post that there uh, on the forum as well. And uh, that's all I have on this fabulous stuff. Love this piece of software. Mm -hmm.